be a creative hairstyle thing that I'm going to be doing. Um, I used to do really crazy creative hairstyles in my hair back in the day and now I just wear my hair like this in a wash and go because I can't be asked to style it any other way. It's just easier for me to just do it like this and go. But recently I've been getting this really creative itch and I just want to play around in it and create some different styles. So I thought I would do it here and you know, play around and see what I can create. This series is going to be the turban style series. Using turbans! <laughs> So I have these two turbans which I'm going to be styling my hair with, um, they are from Akua Designs and they have these knots at the front like an ordinary turban would and it has an elasticated back here. So I'll leave the details down below of where you can purchase them from, they're so bright and vibrant, she hand, make, she hand makes them and I just love them and I was playing around with her stuff and I was like I need to get some and play around with them. Me myself I don't really wear hats or head wraps or anything like that because I don't like my whole head to be covered. I like part of my head to be covered and that is what I'm going to be showing you in this series how to style your hair with half of your hair not the whole hair because I don't like to have something covering everything because my head gets hot very easily so I'm only going to be working with the front section of my hair so I'm going to part um, my hair so that there's a front and back section and the tools I'm using are just hair bands, pins and clips no combs, no brushes, nothing extra. And the back bit here you can twist, braid, plait, whatever, because this section is not going to be seen, so whatever you do back there is up to you, it doesn't matter. And I'm only going to be working on the front section. Right, so this is going to be the messy bun. Very, very simple. All you're going to need is a hairband. <laughs> Take the hair and put it into a bun. Ta-da! And then you can pull it into whatever shape you want these ends I can always twist and pin back or whatever like that and then I'm going to put on my turban so sit on the back of my head like this and that's it so I just take these ends and tuck them into the turban or you know rebun it whatever you want to do or pin it down and that's it it's so simple so easy you can pull it and make it bigger I can move the bun to the side if I want to just sit on the side like this or move it back to the center and just play around with it I can make it longer like this so I create like a vertical shape or we'll turn it and create different styles it's just easy just play around with it and do whatever you feel next so the next one <laughs> is going to be a kind of puff quiff whatever you want to call it pompadour I don't know what the correct word for it is or whatever so I'm going to take my hair and I'm going to twist the end. You can twist it, braid it or twirl it. I'm going to like roll it back on itself. So just so that I can create a point like this. And then I'm going to pull it back to the center of my head. So I have this roll and I'm going to pin this into place here like this. And that's it. <laughs> so simple. And then I'm going to put the turban on the back. And there you go. This kind of roll thing. And you can play around once again with this. So I can take the hair and kind of pull it up and pull it back and pin it here. So I have a flatter, um, more precise roll. Or I can swoop it up like this and pin it into place so I can swoop this side up and then swoop this side up and that creates a fake messy high bun really so you can do that and then from the side you wouldn't know any different <laughs> that there wasn't a hairband in there or anything I'll take these two pins out or I could swoop it all to one side so I can just swoop all of this to one side so the puff moves and pin it like this so I have this bun thing on the side and then you can like gel this down or smooth it down or whatever you want to do 
and pin it into place. So simple <laughs> and so easy. So this one's gonna require some rolling and some twisting. So I'm gonna make sure all the hair is moved to the front like this and I have like a smooth section here. And I'm gonna start to roll from this side. So I'm rolling and collecting hair. Right, so I have this tight roll and then I'm going to twist the ends of it. Two strand twists, very simple. And then I'm going to take the end and pull it back on itself. So I now have a roll and a twist so it's a creative funky style and then the turban will sit on the back so I have like this roll thing going on and a twist Ta -da. and you can play around with this one this one can be played around in so many ways so you can take the twist and move it to the back like this Ooh, my pin and create another style so the twist will be at the back of the hair and you have like this roll thing going on here and then I could always play with this and pull this up and create another shape so I have like a kind of roll here and then I could even take this twist and pull it back again so that it sits at the front and I have more volume at the top here you can always pin these ends down and tuck them so I have more volume here like that and then I can always shape this I can there's so many things you can do like I could pull this up and pin this up like this so I now have like a roll bun thing with a twist and that I'll show you that can be a whole different style so pin that side pin that side and then you have like this roll thing at the front that's like a fake bun and a twist at the front as well so that's quite cute so that's another one very easy <laughs> All about playing having fun man so the final one for today is going to be a bow yay <laughs> now there's different ways you can do a bow I'm going to show you two different ways you can do the bow you can split a section in the middle here like this and then twist it and this will be the middle section of the bow like the ribbon bit the knot bit right and then you take one half twist the ends and pull it back on itself so it creates this shape and pin it like this right and do the same as the other side so you take this side you twist it and pull it back on itself and pin and then this is going to be your center so this is going to be like the middle bit of the bow and you pin that down like that. so you've created this bow and then you just kind of play around with the shape and um, you can always smooth this side up with some gel or whatever so this side sits up so you create more of a shape like this and then the turban will sit on the back so you have like this cute little bow at the front of your hair like this it's 
really cute. <laughs> and I'll show you the other way of doing a bow. I'm going to do the bow, just take the hair and twist it at the end, like this. And instead of going this way, you're going to go back on yourself. So you're going to go up, like this. And pin that into, set, into place, like this. And then you take the middle here and you pull it, you push it down, I should say. Like this. And then from this section here where you've you've pinned down the twist bit here i'm gonna put a pin here to kind of define where the knot of the bow is and then you can always mold this so you can mold this to sit better or bigger however you want it to be so you can move this out here move this out there and there you have another bow <laughs> and take the turban and sit on the back like this and there you go <laughs> a bow it's so easy and so quick to do it's just simple to do and you can do this on flat ironed or blown out hair it doesn't have to be um, stretched hair it can be on like redefined hair as well it's just about creating the shape once you have the shape into place that's all that matters and that's it for the first episode of my turban series. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and you got a bit creative and got some ideas and style ideas. Uh, I'm gonna come back and do some more because that's only like a fifth of the ideas that I have to do with turbans and stuff like that. But like I said, you can use it with hats, head wraps, scarves, whatever. Um, I may do a scarf series if you want, let me know. Leave a comment down below and I'll do a scarf series. Or if you want me to do any type of um, style ideas or anything, leave your suggestions down below and I'll consider them. I'm not going to do everything, but I'll consider them. <laughs> so um, yeah, that was it. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of this first episode so that I know if to do any more. <laughs> and that is it. So until next time. <laughs>